hello student so let us start our discussion so in previous video we have discussed various memory reference instructions like and add load store and branch and conditional so in this video we will start our discussion with the remaining two memory reference instruction that is bsa and isz so uh, let us start our discussion uh, with the bsa so first instruction is bsa Okay, now full form of BSA is branch and save return address. So this instruction is used whenever normally we uh, call the user defined function in uh, higher level programming language. So uh, for your better understanding, uh, let me try to prepare a memory map so you can see it and then you can just under understand it. So uh, let us assume this is a, a memory map. Yes, let us assume uh, our pro uh, program or the instruction which is starting is on location 21. Next is 22. Next is 23. So, uh, the instruction, last instruction on 23 is, uh, let us assume that it is old, means that program is old. Now, this is the address of subroutine. Let's say this is uh, 4041423. Let us assume that here we are having an instruction 0 BSA. Here is this no while while CPU is executing the instruction which is on location 21 at the same time program counter will be pointing towards the 22 so the value of program counter will be 22 this is the subroutine which we want to execute so how this will happen how this will be executed Whenever the control will transfer to the subroutine on the first location of subroutine, we will store the return address. Now, what will be our return address? Return address will be 22. Why? Because program counter will point towards a return address. So here we will store 22. Clear? So on this location, return address will be stored. And then program counter will point to the next location, which is the location first location, and then onwards it will start execution. Let's assume that uh, on location 44, subroutine is getting over. So here there will be instruction one branch unconditional 40. Now, if it is zero branch and conditional 40, then simply uh, program counter will jump from 44 to 40. So this will enter into infinite loop. But here you can see what is written: one branch uh, 40. So rather than treating this as an actual address uh, value, this we will, we will treat this as an address. So from here, indirectly using indirect addressing mode. Program counter will jump to this location. Okay, so uh, here the if it is zero, then program counter will jump here. But here it is one. So first it will go to this location. It will retrieve 22. Then 22 will be again stored into AR address register, and then. PC will, uh, sorry, then system will execute the branch and conditional. So this is 
where it will go. Okay, so uh, how many steps will be there? There will be two steps. First step will be uh, jump to this location, store the return address, and increment the value of address register. Okay, then in next step, we will load the new value uh, into the program counter and then we will resume the execution. Okay, last instruction will be executed automatically. Now, if you recall, for memory reference instruction, we will get output in range of D0 to D6. So, for DSA, we will get output on D5. Clear? Okay, so let me try to elaborate this instruction. So, D5, D4, what will happen in first timing signal? M of AR means whatever address is specified address register on that location we will store the current value of program counter means 22 so M of AR equals to T6 and then the address register currently we are having the value 40 so we will increment the address register so AR is equals to AR plus 1 Okay, so now we will load that updated value of AR into program counter. So 40 plus 1, 41. So in next step, new value will be loaded into program counter. Okay, and then we will set sequence counter to 0. That means whatever value uh, we want to update, wherever we want to transfer the control. It is transferred so now a new instruction or new execution will start from 41 42 43 and last instruction using branch and conditional it will again go to the memory location 22. so this is how dsa will work next instruction is isz meaning of isz is increment a memory word and skip the next instruction if it is zero Okay, so in range of D0 to D6, we will get output on D6. Clear with this? Okay. Now, uh, we cannot directly implement the memory word. So, how we have to do? First, we have to retrieve the memory word into DR. Then again, we have to uh, increment. Then we have to increment the data register. Then we will store result into uh, memory word again, memory location. And then we will check if the value of the DR is zero, okay? Because of increment, then we will increment the uh, program counter. Means we will skip the next instruction. So clear with this. So this is how it will work. Normally, negative number in computer organization is stored using two complement method. Okay, so whenever it is incremented, and if that memory word is zero after increment. Okay, then program counter will be incremented. So let me write down the step. So D6, T4. First we will retrieve the operand memory word into data register. It is specified. The location is specified AR. Then D6, T5. Then we will increment the data register. then d6 t6 next loop cycle again we will store the updated value of dr into the memory memory which is specified location which is specified address by address register and then we will check that if dr equals to zero then program counter will be incremented by one so one instruction will be skipped and after this we will set sequence counter to zero so computer can have idea that this instruction is over so computer can start with the next instruction so uh, this is how all the uh, memory reference instructions are executed okay so if we uh, quickly try to revise the memory reference instruction then first was and then next was head next was 
LDA means load accumulator. Next was store accumulator. Then was branch unconditional. Then branch and save return address. And then it is RSZ. So this will be on D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6. Okay, and we have seen that uh, here it will go up to uh, T4 and T5, T4 and T5, then uh, again T4 and T5, here it will be only T4, here it will be only T4, here it will be T4 and T5, and here it will be T4, T5, T6. Okay, so if you try to recall the uh, design of basic control unit of computer, Okay, then uh, there we have seen that we are having total timing signal T02, T15. So, any of the instruction must be over by T15. At max, it can take uh, 16 clock cycle. Okay, clear with this. So, I hope uh, you have understood whatever I have tried to explain you. Thank you.